Xavier, class of 2020, you are the class of which the history books will write. You stayed the course. You fought the good fight. You finished the race. You sacrificed for others. You suffered inconvenience, stress, and the shattered plans so that others would not have to suffer illness, incapacity, even death. You showed courage in the face of adversity, perseverance in the face of obstacles, an acceptance of a sobering reality you could not change and plans you had no power over. When the sign said, road closed, you found another way to go. It is the strength of your character that has brought each of you here today to this time in history, this place, this point in your lives, your graduation from Xavier University. As the poet T.S. Eliot reminds, we shall not cease from exploration and the end of all of our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. So now in this historic time, the Xavier community gathers together with you to remember the historic class of 2020. To remember, this is a good and human and grace-filled thing to do. Jesus instructed us at the Last Supper to remember when we broke bread together. It is in the remembering that you will begin to understand what you have meant to one another while you were all here together at Xavier University, at this point in your lives, at this place, at this time in history. It is in the remembering that you will gain perspective on what you learned at Xavier University, what you now know to be true, and what you have yet to figure out. And it is in the remembering that you may find what you have lost along the way. And as you head out the door and say goodbye to one another and Xavier University, allow me to share with you some bread to nourish you for your journey ahead. Remember to look, to listen, to laugh, to linger, and to love. Remember to look, look around you at others their perspectives, their viewpoints, their diverse and varied experiences. Look within yourself. You are the only person with the owner's manual to you. Figure out you. You have the owner's manual. Look down at the path you are on, where you are headed and where you are not headed. Get the right shoes for the path that you are on. Otherwise, your feet will hurt and your walk will wound you. And look ahead at the horizon where the sky and earth meet, where your dreams and reality intersect. This is where your future lies. Do you like what you see ahead? Look. Remember to listen, listen to nature. You will hear in nature the echo of God's voice. Listen to those who agree with you and those who do not. Don't hide in enclaves of thought and opinion to shelter yourself from truths that are uncomfortable or facts that don't fit into your worldview. Open your mind and listen. Listen to those who love you, your family and your friends, those who carried you when you were too young to walk, picked you up when you fell, held your hand when you crossed the street, those who let you go so you could learn to walk on your own. Listen to those who love you. Remember to laugh. Laugh at yourself. This will free you from the chains of pride. Laugh along with others. 
This will bind you together and give you hope when the monotonous and ridiculous and absurd invade your day. Laugh. Often, laughter costs nothing. It is free and freeing. And while you're laughing, cultivate joy. It is the soil for a life rich in all the things that truly matter. Remember to linger, don't rush. Life is meant to be understood, celebrated, enjoyed, not endured. Linger and reflect on what doesn't make sense, what doesn't fit together, what puzzle pieces are missing in your life and in the shared life of our common humanity. Linger with one another, slow down, stay a while, and notice what your friend is struggling with, what your neighbor needs help with, what frustrates your coworker. Linger. Linger with God. God has all the time in the world. Schedule an appointment. God is available. And when you show up for your appointment, linger with God. And finally, remember to love. Love is a verb, not a noun. It defines itself in the doing. Love is an action word. Love yourself. Be authentic. Be yourself. And when you find the gaps, the cracks, the unfinished work in yourself and in your life, don't flinch. This is the entry point for grace, where God can enter and move and rearrange your life. Don't hide the cracks. Let God into the cracks. Love yourself. Love others. This can be hard. Love is an action verb. It is an act of will, a choice, not a feeling. Love others. Stretch out your hand and walk the road of life with others. We were not meant to walk the road alone. It is a wide path and we were meant to keep good company along the road. Love others. Those who are not like you, those you don't know, and those you do know and don't understand. Abandon your fear, your cynicism, your desire to control. Forgive. Love others, self-sacrificially, unreservedly, with honesty and humility. And remember, you are the only gospel some people will ever read. Love others. And finally, love God who will love you back. These are the words from Matthew's gospel. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here for he has been raised as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead and indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. Xavier, class of 2020, remember to look. Remember to listen. Remember to laugh. Remember to linger. And remember to love. Congratulations and God bless.